I'm Terry Hollands, I'm 40 years old, I'm a professional strongman. I've been competing in World Strongest Man competitions now for around about 16 years. I've been twice third at World Strongest Man. I'm a former Britain's, England's and UK Strongest Man. And I'm gonna try and help you with your deadlift. Firstly, I'm gonna start with your stance. Personally, I feel like your starting point when you first start to deadlift, in terms of when you're first learning the movement, try and put your feet in a position where you would jump from. So if you was gonna try and jump on a box, that's roughly the foot position you wanna start with. So for me, my, my foot position is round about here. It's not overly wide. Um, it's actually something that I've adjusted a little bit as I've lost a bit of weight. So obviously, like I said, the good starting point is roughly where you would jump on a box from. That's a good position for your feet in terms of width obviously you can as you start to learn the movement more you can start to play around with that move your feet out slightly in slightly turn your toes out slightly so you find what feels comfortable and what feels right for you but obviously that's gonna take some time so first up yeah in a position where you would jump from then right addressing the bar so for me i always aim to go mid foot so a lot of people would say you know get the bar right close to your shins a good position to be in mid foot. So the bar is roughly round about the center of your foot. This just being that no one, when they deadlift, keeps their shins perfectly vertical. They'll always come forward a little bit. So the mid foot seems to be a good position to be in. Right, next thing, big mistake I see a lot of people do when they're deadlifting is they really push their shins forward. Um, you do want to try and keep this as vertical as possible. I mean, obviously you can, you know, you're not going to get it perfect, but so you're going to need to come forward a bit. But you see a lot of people really bending forwards with their knees. What you want to try and do is keep your hip position similar to where you would, where it feels comfortable. But instead of pushing your knees forward, just sit your, hip, your hips back a little bit. So I'm trying to get an example. So sort of instead of being in this position where you're really far forward, just sit your hips back slightly. Um, that's gonna keep the bar closer to your body. It's gonna move more in a, a straight line. A lot of people, obviously, you see them deadlifting, and if you watch from the side, the bar should move pretty much in a straight line. Everything with lifting, if you can move things in straight lines, is so much easier. So, from there, you'll sit back slightly, get in position. I almost feel like I'm sort of on my heels a little bit too much, but that's pretty much where you wanna be. Um, bars mid foot. When you then get into this position, about to do the lift, first thing I do is turn my elbows slightly back. So instead of having them like forwards like this, I twist back slightly. Also with that, I'll then squeeze just below my shoulder blade. So, if you squeeze these muscles around here, just very slightly, so lats and rhomboids and stuff like that, just get it nice and tight. So from there, twist the elbows back, squeezing that back, that's gonna keep your back in a nice straight position. It's gonna stop you sort of getting some real bad rounding and also it's gonna help you finish the lift a lot better. You see a lot of people end up failing their lifts because their back's rounded like this and they haven't got the power in their upper back to be able to just finish the movement off. So if you can keep your back in the strong position already, obviously that's gonna help you finish the lift a lot easier. So from there, in position, elbows back, squeeze. So my back's nice and locked in place. From that point, you're almost gonna like try and feel, sort of load your hips a little bit. So you're gonna feel the weight ever so slightly through your hips. So you're not actually lifting it, but I can feel like, the tension through here. So I'm starting to load all the muscles. Biggest thing with deadlifting, obviously, the hard bit is you've got to get the bar moving from a dead position. Um, so you load all the muscles before you do the lift. So almost put some tension on already before you start the lift. Just put a little bit of tension through, then you're in a position to then explode off the floor. So from here, twist, lock the back in, I've loaded my hips, and then we're up. Right, so the next thing would be, you see a lot of people make the mistake of 
So they'll have their arms sort of in this position, so they'll get too far over the bar. Again, these should be straight. When you're in this position, as you start the lift, the bar will always come away from you. That's not what you want. You want to keep it nice and close to the body all the way up, again, lifting in straight lines. So you need to mess around with your setup a little bit, get in a position where your arms are straight. So they're not, your shoulders are not over the bar. So again, sitting back in the hips can help you do that, rather than sort of pushing the knees forward, ending up over the bar, so sit back with the hips. It can help you keep your arms in a nice straight position. Um, again, with the arms, never bend them. See a lot of people doing that. As they start to lift, they just tense the biceps. Don't ever do that, because that's when you'll tear something. It's really dangerous to do. So the next thing I would try and do, so when you start the lift, you're about to do the lift off the floor, I would imagine pulling your chest up, but also pushing with your feet as well. I know it's a lot to think about, but the more you do this when you're starting out and learning the movement, it will become a natural habit eventually anyway. So don't just think about pulling and pulling through the chest and lifting the chest up and pulling through the back. Also really focus on pushing the floor downwards. It will just help you get a lot more legs involved into it and help you use a lot, utilize a lot more muscle. So push the floor as well as lift the chest up. And then the final thing is, once you sort of get to around about here, you just about clear the knees. Don't just focus on lifting the chest up. Also focus on pushing the hips forwards. That way you'll incorporate a lot more glutes into the lift. So from here, you're gonna squeeze, squeeze everything nice and tight, load the hips, come up. I'm pushing down and pulling up at the same time, but I'm actually like really like trying to focus on doing that. Push down, pull up. As you come up, once you get to about here, you're then also going to focus on driving your hips forward. So you're going to push, and that's going to bring your glutes into the lift a lot more. Um, yeah, that's my tips for deadlift, and um, hopefully it helps. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, or comment on the video. And also, please keep an eye out for an interview coming with myself soon. Being one of the strongest men in the world for all these years has meant um, everything to me. It's been my life for 15 years. You know, you spend every day you're in pain in some way or another. You have to be able to sort of put your mind in a place to be able to do the things you do. Honestly, I'm like, I can't have not have competitive things in my life. I just can't. It's f***ing terrible. Like, I'm like, I can't help it. I have to win. I've literally dedicated my life to it and it has become everything. It has literally been my life.